what it do y'all Josh Davidson here with another video and today we got a tutorial okay now recently I've been uploading videos and I've been sitting back wondering why are my videos coming out pixelated like 360p quality that is not good and you don't want that and my videos be set look at this check this out my videos be set at 1080p 60 now why does my videos look like this quality right here when it's 1080p 60 i don't understand but i have a fix for you okay today's video i will be teaching you how to fix this now since we're on apple i'm going to be using apple software that includes final cut pro and apple compressor okay before we even get any further into this tutorial make sure you like comment sub everything because this will help you out okay First things first, when you go to your video, make sure there's actually pixelation. As you can see, my video is in 1080p 60 on the side. I hit play on the video, no fucking idea. And you but see. But Twitch can, and you can see the, 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 everything on here is blurry as hell. If you hit, if you right click on your mouse on, on YouTube and go stats for nerds, and you go up here, the Kodak that YouTube is using for my video is AVC1 which is a bad Kodak. It compresses the video file down. I, I, don't, I don't really know the gist of it, but all I know is AVC1 is the bad Kodak and they give it to people who have less subs and videos that perform poorly. So if you don't have a video that's got a lot of views or something like that, you won't be getting this Kodak, but there's a way around it and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so this is the original video, right? This is the video I did yesterday that I, I redid. I, I re-rendered it and everything. Okay, so. This is in 1080p. This is gonna be in 1440. Now, stay with me now. All right, so look, no fucking idea. If you look at the, if you look at it, just to make the quality of the video is better. You can see a lot of no pixelation when you turn, none of that. And this is why. Go to Stats for Nerds and voila, I have the good Kodak VP09. This is because anything that's below 4K or 2K gets the AVC Kodak or if you have a lot of subs, so you got like a million or some people even got it at 1K and that's because their video is doing well. If your video is doing well right now, then you will get the VP09 Kodak, which is the good Kodak. Now, if you have a software like Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, Filmora 9 or whatever it's called, it's easy. You could just, when you're rendering, make sure you put it at 2K, bada bing, bada boom, you're done. Because Apple loves to do bullshit, we gonna have to go ahead and get, we gonna have to use Final Cut Pro and Compressor. And the reason, this is, I'm gonna show you why. I'm gonna open up Compressor first, okay? I'm gonna show you my settings, okay? So in order to do this, right? Once you're in Apple Compressor, go to the plus button at the bottom, hit new setting. Once you get new setting, make sure you go down to MPEG-4. Change it, whatever. So now that you have this, right? You wanna go to general, make sure this is all good. Find your default location. I like to put it in that folder. So now we're gonna go to the nitty gritty. See the frame size gonna be automatic, which means it's gonna render whatever Final Cut gives it. What you wanna do is enter in 2560, and it's gonna put 480, and then you're gonna put 1440. And then what you're gonna do is you wanna go here and then go to default. So then with the frame rate, you're gonna obviously put 60. If you record it 60, but if you record in 30, make sure you add 30, 30 frames if you put it in there, but I of course 1080p 60, so that's that. Um, leave all this as is. Keep the Kodak as H.264 as always. Um, when you get down here, make sure this is Quebec. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. C A B A C. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> make sure you change the data rate from web publishing to custom, so you can add a custom bit rate. Okay, this is where it actually makes your video come out clean. Okay. So YouTube has a Kodak, right? The YouTube Kodak standard for 1440 is, say you record your shit at 1080 Put your bit rate at 16 megabits, which would be right here. When you go right here, it'll, it'll be 16,000, right? I mean, since I did that 60, you go put 24. I record my videos 1080p 60 at 35,000. So what I what I do is put 35,000 in the, in the, um, the kilobits, and then I leave it like that. And then what you do is you go down here, you can put it on Lancos or whatever and then make sure you put that on best for motion and then 
you go to your audio, you want some good ass audio, make sure it's on AAC. That's a good ass file format. I use it whenever I work with anything in Logic, that's AAC. Then you want to go to the quality, make sure it's high. You can put it on maximum, it's up to you. As an audio engineer, I'm conditioned to put it at 32. Uh, um, 32. 320 kilobits, that is the highest you can go. But you could put it at 256 and that still be a good quality. But make sure it's not 128. So now you got all these settings correct. All right, make sure you go back, double back, do, do a little search, see it's 15 gigabytes, it is what it is. For some reason, it always does this for me. So now you have 2560 by 1440, you're done, you're done, right? Now, what you wanna do is, this setting's gonna be done, so then you can just quit, and then go to Final Cut. Now, the way I just showed you, that was the paid way. There's a free way, and it's very tedious. I'm, I'm gonna show you that at the end, towards the end of this video. All right, so now we had the video that I just made. And then what you wanna do is, you wanna go to, um up here you go to the here and you go to compressor and then what you're going to do you want to add it whatever you want to add it at right and then you want to go down to where you the settings you just created and then you hit okay and now you're done see boom now you want to do is you want to go to share master file and then hit this so then you're going to hit next and then render it out yada 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 and you're just going to put it there and then hit save and then it's going to render and it's going to take some time okay the freeway without you having to pay the $50 for Apple compressor, which I really, if you have Final Cut, it will behoove you to actually pay the 50 for compressor, but it's up to you. It's up, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. But um, this is the freeway. All right, so you see this is your project. So in order for you, you got, you, you edited everything in 1080p60, correct? So now once you do that, you want to new, new, new event. Make sure to create new project is checked from my previous tutorial, you know that. And then whatever it is, Twitch, yada, yada, whatever the fuck. And then instead of vertical, you're gonna hit uh, 2K. 60 frames, Apple ProRes, all that shit, boom. Then what you wanna do, right? Once you see this, you wanna go here, back to this, hit Command A, which is, it's gonna select all, then hit Command C. Go here, so yada, 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 and then hit Command V. It's gonna paste that entire timeline. And then what you're gonna do, you're gonna go up here, share, master file, you don't gotta do much, and then just, it's gonna render out at four, it's gonna render out at 2K, 60 frames per second. So that's pretty much that. And then once you uploaded that 2K footage, it's gonna come to YouTube. Once you up, you're gonna give it a couple of, um, a, 30 minutes or so after that to get it all together. And then boom, when you look at it, you're gonna have 256 by 1440p as your current optimal res. And then your, your Kodak will be VP09, which is the good Kodak. That right there will make sure that your video is not blurry and none of that when you put it on YouTube. And if you found this tutorial helpful, make sure you like, comment, sub, all that. And um, yeah, Josh Davidson out. Peace. Hope you enjoyed.